Wardelski, founder at Million Dollar Party Girl, with a tutorial on how to create a virtual door prize slip using Google Forms. It is totally free with your Gmail account, yay, and can be used for more than just generating more sales leads, party leads, and sponsoring leads. All right, let's get started. go to Google Forms either through Google Drive. Yes, you do need a Gmail address to access it and it's completely free. Or you can just go to google.com slash forms. And here we go. So I already have it open over here for you. If you notice, click on more, the more tab. So these are already pre-created templates for you. Super duper easy. You can start here or create one for your own use from scratch. We'll start with the blank template. And so think of this for sample requests, uh, customer surveys to look for more opportunities for parties and sponsoring leads. Of course, door price slips for your parties, Facebook parties, vendor events. Because you're sharing this as a link, you can really share this almost anywhere, even with party guests who don't attend, because whether it's a Facebook party or a live party, most hostesses are still using Facebook, right, to create that event. All right, so let's say you're gonna use your door prize slip. Of course, you can jazz this up and call it anything you want. I'm just gonna put door prize slip to give you an idea. Pop in a pre, uh, Form description, enter my prize drawing, yay. And then here's your first untitled question already started for you. Now here's the really cool thing about Google Forms. Let's move our little Zoom panel up here. So you can use, look at all these possibilities, multiple choice, check boxes, a drop down menu, a linear scale. For example, on a scale of one to five, how interested are you in learning more about my business? And anyone that's a three, four, or five in my book <laughs> is interested, right? Otherwise, they would put like one or two. So uh, I do like the linear question, the linear scale. Um, that kind of really kind of gives you a sense of what people are thinking. And you do want to always use an open-ended question versus a closed-ended question, right? So if you like this format, you can click on this to duplicate it and just change your question. What interests you most? And of course, you want to use an open-ended question. You don't want to say, do you want to book a party, right? We know that's a no. You want to say, tell me what kind of party interests you most. Option one, home party. Option two, Facebook party. Option three, keep going. <laughs> the more options you give people, the more leads you're going to be able to get. And there is also an other option. If you can see the word other is great out there, you can actually keep that and make that an option and they can write in what other means to them. Catalog party, that's where the people are just passing their catalog around at work or in, uh, you know, with their friends and family, especially during the holiday season. So give people more options and that's how you will generate more leads. Now here's the really super duper cool thing. You can add a photo right there uh, look at all these options, right? Upload, take a snapshot, buy URL, go to your album. So you can insert an image to go with the question or head over to this right side, insert an image separate from the questions, kind of in the body of that question. You can also insert a, oh, that's the image again. You can also insert YouTube video, I love that. So you can actually search YouTube or go right to the YouTube video. This could be a video you make yourself. Maybe 
to tell them more about your income opportunity. Or you could even interview a hostess. How fun would that be if you're doing a live party and have her share what she loves about hosting? Or maybe a customer testimonial. So you can pop in a video right there. Now, you do wanna keep your videos short. Typically under a minute is best, otherwise people probably won't view it, right? It just gets a little bit too long. Click down here to add another section. And um, what I recommend is that you ask three key questions. One should be your icebreaker question. That's the first question. And that's gonna be something like, hey, would you like to join my reward program? Or what's your favorite kind of, you know, fill in the blank with your product? And then your second question, I like to put the sponsoring question there. And then the third question should be about hosting a party. So three questions, super easy, simple, easy peasy. And then up here, here's your color palette. You can change your background upload a photo and again here's what's really cool if you click on that camera icon yes you can upload your own graphic or google has really fun animated backgrounds so you notice here's a picnic scene the winds blowing the little napkin in the picnic basket and if you go to the just kids section this is one of my favorite ones it's a fun party scene, of course, more geared toward kids, but hey, who doesn't love balloons? And if you notice, the balloons are moving in the wind. Oh my gosh, like this stuff is just so fun. So definitely will attract attention and just make it that much more fun to fill out your virtual door prize slip. Now, if you go uh, to the little all seeing eye, you can click on a preview and then check this out. If you go into the three little buttons here where it says more, click on your add-ons. This is where it gets a little, you know, this might make your head hurt. But the one add-on I do recommend is right here, your form notifications. Remember, this is all completely free. Add that as an add-on. It'll pop up here. It almost looks like a puzzle piece. And then I can click on that, configure notifications, just pop in your email address right there and get notified every time somebody fills out my form. Just pop in your email. You can have it sent every, however many you want. I have every one. I want to know after every form. <laughs> so if you're doing something in mass, you obviously can edit that. If you're having maybe a live event and you want to get feedback, you might want to get notified after every 10 or 20. But for a party, or a vendor event, I would say let me know after every one, right? Because you want to know and, and follow up. So that's a cool add-on feature right there. So there you go. You can also move these sections up, by the way. If you hover over and you'll see it change from the cursor, oh, just did, to that little plus sign, that'll let you change your sections and drag them up or down. So you can move them around and then you're going to click here to see responses of course we don't have any yet and this will actually put it into a visual response analytics for you and then if you click on the plus sign it creates a spreadsheet so that's why it's a done for you system now uh, last but not least you can also make certain questions required so if you see this little button here if you toggle over, you'll notice that these questions have the little star next to them, which means it's a required question. That person must answer one of the answers in order to complete your door prize slip. So some really cool things you can do with Google Forms. Again, it's completely free. You do need a Gmail account. And then when you're ready to send it, you can just either you know, send it via email, or what you're probably gonna do right here, grab the link, and that way you can share that link in a Facebook event, in your group page, you name it. If you're at a vendor event, you could email it to yourself and just pop it up on your phone and have people fill it out right on your phone. 
while you're at a vendor event. And of course, you can also click on the shorten URL so it's not that long, clunky, not so pretty looking URL. There you go. Now, one of the really cool things I love about it, I'm gonna go into my door prize slip real quick and click on my responses. And we'll just quickly go through there to get to the bottom. <laughs> so there's over 150. Uh, is This is what I was talking about. If you click on the responses, it'll put um, your answers into a graph. And so this is where you can really see the magic of the results that you can get. So this is the sponsoring question. And if you notice this, it's giving you this uh, little pie chart. So the yellow, the red, and the blue are basically all yes answers, letting me know what kind of income people are looking to make. So if I add all these up, that's a 4.3%, 3.5%, and another 5%, that's over 12% of people responded that they were interested in more information. That's pretty cool, actually interested in earning some decent income too. And then the same thing, if you look at this pie chart for my what's your favorite type of party to host question, and again, you can really get a good gauge for this because there's over 140 responses to this. Check this out, 45% said I wanna book a Facebook party. Almost 13%, 12.9% said I wanna book a home party. And then I did do kind of a Facebook slash online for people that don't want to do the actual Facebook party, but just want to share the link and get orders online. And that was 4.3%. Not too bad, right? So how would you like to get those kind of results over? So if you add the 45% plus the 12%, that's more than half want to book a party. Pretty exciting. And then I do have a feedback question at the end where they can actually share feedback. And that's important, right, for you to get feedback from your customers and actually the feedback is pretty good. <laughs> so that's exciting as well. All right, there you go. Just a quick tutorial on how to use Google Forms for your direct sales business. Lots and lots of ways that you can be using it to get feedback create virtual door prize slips, customer surveys, sample requests, you name it, and really blow up your leads for your direct sales business. All right, everyone, good luck. Thanks.